Did you know you can select points, arcs, or surfaces when drilling holes? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the three types of geometry you can use when drilling holes. Um, the first one we're going to look at is working with points. We'll create a uh, drill feature here. We'll go ahead and select our geometry. We'll choose OK. Now you'll notice when you're working with points, uh, the hole diameter won't be picked up and the hole depth won't be picked up. Uh, so you'll have to enter this information in yourself. Uh, you can come in and set up your machining strategy and then compute your settings. So if you're working just with point locations, uh, you can drill holes with point locations. Now let's take a look at working with arcs. Uh, if you have arc segments, we can run another drilling cycle here. We'll select all our uh, hole locations. Uh, what is different is when working with arc segments, uh, the software will read the, the hole diameter based off the selected geometry. Uh, because there's no Z depth here, uh, it's not gonna pick one up. Uh, if the hole locations uh, or the arcs that you were selecting were at the bottom of the holes, uh, we could read that in to set the depth. Uh, but otherwise, just like with the point patterns, we can come in and set our machining strategy and then go ahead and compute our defaults and we're able to drill uh, arc segments that way as well. Now, if you have a solid model, uh, what does that workflow look like? So let's go ahead and delete our feature here. Uh, we're gonna come in and do a drill hole, select geometry. Again, this is a standard drill cycle. What I'm gonna do in this case is I'm gonna window pick uh, all my hole locations here and we'll choose okay. Uh, we'll notice uh, not only did the hole diameter get picked up, uh, but the hole depth did get picked up as well. Uh, the one thing is there is a chamfer on the edge of this, so we're gonna actually zero uh, the top of cutting here and set what our feature depth will be. Uh, we'll pick our machining strategy and then we'll compute our defaults. So whether you're drilling with points or arcs or solids, uh, you'll be able to program your holes with Bobcad. To learn about tips and tricks using Bobcad, call us today or subscribe to our channel for next week's tip. See you then.